Well, Scott, you know my love for snowfall. Oh, you are a snow lover. I do I love that. snow. This, my friend, is what snow looks, real <laughs> snow looks like. Not the nickel and dime stuff we had this morning. It's from Albany, New York. They are within the nor'easter that is just dropping mm. heavy, wet stuff. Uh, earlier today, they reported anywhere from 12 to 24 inches of snowfall. Wow. Of course, IU playing in Albany, New York right. later this week. I will tell you that storm system uh, will be wrapping up here in the next 12 hours. It will be long gone. Okay, so you time. don't anticipate any travel troubles then for no, all you fans? No, no, no. Now, fans that might be trying to get there early tomorrow morning, that's a different that's story. That's a different story, okay. <laughs> uh, but later this week should be in good shape here. Okay. Let me show you live Doppler 13 radar. Still some pretty decent bands that are hitting Boston right now. Uh, and even Albany may still pick up on this one coming through. This will eventually pull out to sea here. Our next weather maker is blasting the West Coast again. That's going to cross the country between now and Thursday, and that will be our next rainmaker. And I'm afraid to say, if you're not a fan of the cold we have, it is going to bring another shot of well below average temperatures St. Patrick's Day into the weekend. Uh, tomorrow morning, as I mentioned early on, you're going to be scraping some frost on your windshield. If your car is parked outside, that's because we have a clear sky and a calm wind. We bottom out at about 20 in the city. Look at the recovery. This is why it's my pick of the week here. Sunshine start to finish. We're topping out at about 50 in the afternoon and the wind won't be terribly strong. Thursday will be the warmest day of the week, but it comes with that increasing uh, chance of rain in the afternoon. So here it is. We'll jump into Thursday. We're jumping into the warm sector of this system. Keep an eye on that front and notice the timeline here. This is at 6 a.m. Friday. We go from near 50 at midnight, fall into the 30s. The rush of that cold air will squeeze out flurries and snow showers around here on St. Patrick's Day, and those will continue spinning around this storm system. And then we get into Saturday here, we're still talking about well below average temperatures, very breezy conditions to open up the weekend, and it will come with flurries and snow showers and some localized accumulation. Some of that stuff could linger into Sunday morning and then we'll modify again Monday and Tuesday. Unfortunately, an unpleasant weather setup for St. Patrick's Day here.